as very shocked to know that rose also knew it she laughed looking at my expressions then said well i never knew my guess would be that accurate so let me introduce myself hi my name is park rose i am your coworker and apart from it i am also your husband's little sister i blush when she said the hound as my husband i really gave it really gave me butterflies in my stomach now introduce yourself again and real one what you already know my name what else you want me to introduce myself to you i said to her but she didn't buy my words and said again well as an employee of this company and coworker i might know you but as my sister in law shouldn't you introduce yourself well i gave up and said hi my name is i am married to your brother mr kim thayon which makes me kim so i became your sister in law i say in playful tone well it was the first time i was this comfortable with someone she laughed at my words and said well sister in law you are quite cute and you don't know how much my mother wants to meet you do you know you are the first daughter in law in kim's parks and jeans you make my mom so envious of aunt kim aunt kim was gloating at them and which make my mom so angered yesterday i was really shocked and said really yeah and then my mom called opa and said to him that his friend already got wife and he is elder of him yet he is single you can't imagine the look of opa he was star struck when he got the information like this now i came to know how jimin and jungko got to know about my and thang's marriage well i was expecting something like this that hung will never initiate to introduce me to someone i really got sad and rose notes it and asks what happened anni it is late to they opa i was shocked how could she guess it so accurate well you don't need to be shocked by this we all know they opa don't have any girlfriend nor he was engaged to anyone we know apart from it your marriage was not even held publicly so it was obvious you both might have a rough relationship it's not love story love marriage or arranged marriage it was more like forced marriage i don't know about you but from opa it was obvious forced one first i was also angry on uncle and aunt how can they force opa to do this but i now i saw you i know why they are eagerly wanting you to marry their son he might have thought if they got late he will slip away from their hands so uh, rose said last part with playful tone to ease the atmosphere but i decided to tell rose about my side of story well until now nobody listened to me i was i also have some complaint and and want to let my thoughts out maybe she will be the one who will listen to me rose i don't know what you think of me but i take you my friend the moment you were me smiled at me and it's first time i'm opening my heart in front of someone i hope you will understand my situation also you know when you said your parents are so loving and support you what you do i was quite envious of you I have a family like you but at the same time it is nothing like yours your parents are support you to you and mine that make me bargain chip for their family business was just of worth merely business deal of them well i can't blame my step father and sister for them i was not their family to begin with but for my mom i was so disappointed in her she cry carried me 9 months for god sake yet she didn't have any feeling for me i am more like a black mark on her which she want to get rid of anyhow and this marriage i was also forced but you know i never have right to vent my anger on anyone sometimes i think god never intend to make my life happy you know my step sister don't have her own mother yet she got love of her both parents i on other hand have no father but even after having my mother i never got love of anyone my mother said you're his motherless child so she should love her i on other hand 
you don't have father don't it mean mr choi should least give me some fatherly love but i what i got was disgust and displeasure from them sometimes i just want to run away from all this and hide in some safe corner you know i never blame tai hong for anything because he is stranger to me i always blame my destiny which is written with black letters i don't know why but i was fed up with all this i really don't want to care about anything now my eyes were blurred with my tears which i don't know when they start coming out from my eyes rose look me with pain expression and softly only please don't blame yourself you are best in your own if they don't know your value then it is their loss your black days have gone now everything be all right i know this time the oppa is just a stranger to you but trust me it it trust me he will be the most precious person in your life after you got know him he is cool to you because he couldn't accept this sudden change in his life like this once his mind get calm down you will see how amazing person he is he may be cold to you but believe me he will not never try to disrespect you or anything which will hurt you mentally or physically he is not unreasonable person when he came to know how fantastic you are he will not have but fell in love with you just give him some time and let the nature do its job try to be real because if you want to change yourself for him or do something for him it will not work just be your real self he will naturally start liking you you don't think too much about it well let's go our lunch time is almost over and i don't show you around yet with that we both went for our office tour well we couldn't see whole office but she showed me main departments like hr department finance department and all those which is really of my use after we went towards the lift go back to our floor and coincidentally the german and jungo were in lift my eyes directly met with their home but i looked down immediately i don't why but i always felt intimidated by his gaze i looked at the lift button and our floor was already pressed so i waited silently jimin and jungkook both got out their floor and now it was me rose and sae once we reached our floor rose left the first second was sae i walked after him as he reached to the office door he said come to my office and he went inside Me, Jimin, and Jungkook went to the nearby restaurant for our lunch. It is our usual place for lunch. Well, our cafeteria is quite good. It's not like we put some air like we are owners, so we will not eat there. It's more like we don't want our employees to feel pressure. In our presence, once we went to the cafeteria for our lunch, and it became more like inspection. Everybody was so rigid. Nobody was eating, and chef was. like they have high fever because were like hell so we decide we will go we will not go to the cafe so then we decide we will not go to cafeteria for our any meal well we came back and entered the lift lift stop on fifth floor and rose and my little wife entered or i smelled the moment she came inside but she quickly looked down still i got something her eyes were red it is like she had cried but why after some did someone said something to her or she got hurt in here i briefly looked at her but she didn't have any wound or bruises on her then what happened i don't know why i got this restless by looking at her red eyes I know I will be not in peace until I came to know what happened to her so I went out from the lift and told her to come inside my office I went inside my office knowing she is following me she walked like a mice there is no sound of her walking maybe the best reason is she is 
she don't wear those so called heels now i think about her she's quite different from other girls she didn't wear makeup and her clothes are also conservative at home i saw her she was fully dressed and here also in office she came in jeans and white shirt not some dress or skirt she is giving me the feeling she will make me wrong about my opinion towards her and i desperately wanted i sit on my she was standing in front of me like a student who got doing something wrong now she was in principal office to get her punishment why she always fears me i am that scary well whatever it is that it aside have you done your work which i gave you i hope it will be done by evening i ask her i don't have many hopes because it was her first day and nobody was there to show her how to manage things so she might have no idea where to start well i did send all mails and proofread all the documents and store all file in hard drive but i am not sure if there is any other work left i will check and inform you sir i was quite impressed when she told me about how much amount of work she had done and i have seen many peers who couldn't do work for weeks when they were newly appointed but she almost done everything in just half well it's good otherwise i have to find new pa well it's good to hear have anybody showed you office around because you have to get film familiar with yes sir miss park show me around after our lunch i don't know how to ask her about why she cried so in a strip of directly asking i said you know if anybody try to misbehave with you or try to make things hard for you you can directly tell me you know i don't like you as my wife but my parents view me your responsibility so i have to ensure that you are fine so anything appropriate happen to you tell me the moment it happens as i said these words to her she was looking me like i was eighth wonder of world maybe she didn't expect me to say this but parents have gave her responsibility she was here because of me so i have to take i have to be the reasonable person here after some time she came back in her sense and nodded her ear like chicken picking grains cute i thought i thought so tell me what happened with you your eyes are red did anybody said something to you which make you cry i know it is first time you came out from your parents protection but this is how people are nobody knows your identity they will try to bully you or try to make things hard for you now you are not your father's princess but an off employee you should not feel bad on the little things if something serious happen then do inform me i will handle it understand and it is your first day in office and you start crying on it how you will handle your rest and you start crying on it how you will face your rest be confident in yourself i don't know why i said this to her but it is just i don't want her to look like this i want to comfort her but i don't know how so i think it is best to show her how the world work and how she has to face everything she can't be in her parents protection every time and is she is my wife but sometimes she has to say things which she can't handle so she has to be strong and not cry on the small things